Ready? Echo. You ready? I'll do it. Ready? Echo! Oh! <laughs> So are Amazon basic products a waste of money or are they decent? Well, today we're gonna to look at the 50 inch lightweight aluminium tripod from Amazon Basics. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna take it out for a spin, unbox it, see what it's like and see how it works. Now, we've really find out if it's gonna be a thing that you can use on a daily basis or it's just a total waste of 11 pounds 99. Let's have a look at it first. Oh, first impressions are it's it's very um, well it's basic <laughs> made of aluminium it's quite a nice finish actually it's, it's got this nice copper aluminium sort of uh, finish on it the uh, legs it opens up like that and then it's got three stage leg drop out and those as you can see aren't the steadiest yeah I'm not entirely sure you know, for 11.99, the mechanism itself works okay. It's got sort of rubber feet on the bottom. The head is sort of a pan stroke tilt head. Um, my worry is that I can't take this off and replace it with the head that I use for, let's just check. I wanna be able to take this off. Uh oh, you can't put your own head on here that's a little bit disappointing because then you're stuck with using the mount that is on here so i've got to attach this plate that works with the tripod onto my camera um, and i really didn't want to do that because it's this plastic plate with a little screw on thing at the bottom and it just clips in there so that is a major downside i was hoping that i'd just be able to click this off and screw a decent ball head on the top be stuck with using the one that comes with it first impressions not fantastic, but we're going to take this out into the field. We're going to go out tonight, although the weather's terrible, to shoot some photographs and, and just test it out, really see, see what it's like. It's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be able to hold about eight kilograms, so I'm using the 200D from a photograph, so that's not going to be no, any problem, really. But first impressions, not brilliant. <laughs> Right guys, we have found a field, but we have failed to find the poppies. There's a few poppy fields, but nowhere that I could actually stop and the car and park up and have... Yeah, it's a little bit difficult. So we've found this sort of area that we've managed to stop in. So we're going to test the tripod out here, just take some photos and uh, yeah, see how, we, uh, see how we get on. So the um, yeah the tripod, it's down here. It's 50 inches tall. It's not tall enough for the average person to really. I suppose if you're having you're here and you're taking photos like this, but it's not up here where you'd like it to be if you're doing other things. Jake's demonstrating now, sort of the height of it. Um, but yeah, it's not terribly stable either. The legs are very very wobbly. The actual locking mechanisms on the legs are quite good. They're stable. Positives. I like the colour. That? What? The bird? Oh yeah. Can you see it dude? Whoa. Other positives are that the head itself actually tilts to, to, tilts to portrait mode so you can take portrait photos. Uh, but it's not a terribly secure head. The actual plate itself is made of plastic as well and it's very, very flimsy. So, I mean, for 11.99, that is probably what you would expect from 
a tripod. It's not going to be brilliant. It's going to do the very, very basics. It's relatively light. That's one of the pluses. It seems relatively stable when you've got it up. It has got that thing in the middle that cheaper tripods have where it supports the legs from the outside because the legs aren't that stable. It's got the, the middle triangle bit. That means it doesn't fit into bags, uh, straps on bags, on camera bags as well. So yeah, overall, I'd give it a, a three out of 10. I'm gonna be using it solely for um, the podcast, I think, just as a second, putting it up to record a second camera angle and it's gonna be used as that, simple as that. It's not gonna be any kind of professional uh, tripod. Apart from that, $11.99, you can't ask for more. So it might seem like I'm being a little bit harsh on the cute little Amazon Basics tripod, but I don't expect, you don't expect much for $11.99, but in all fairness, in all fairness, if you're buying this, um, it would be perfect for somebody for just setting up in a studio for live streaming if you're leaving your tripod set up like that on your desk just with the camera on it full time leaving it there not touching it setting it up leaving it that'd be perfect if you're using it as a second tripod for a podcast and you're just setting it up putting your angle on for your different angle for your podcast sound if you're using it as a second studio tripod to hold um, a different microphone or to mount a gopro on here for time lapses just to leave it somewhere and not move it's not really a travel companion it's not really something that's going to hold your red camera on here with your nice 18 to 35 sigma lens on it's just a cheap basic good enough tripod and remember the price 11.99 so i'm not being too harsh it's gonna serve a purpose at the end of the day and i will use it anyway guys thanks for watching i hope it helps and make sure you smash that subscribe button and press the bell so you don't miss any uploads coming up soon and i'll catch you on the next one take it easy